and London Finance. Africa has the youngest population in the world. 19% of the global youth population, according to the United Nations, are in Africa. And by 2030, the number of youth on the continent would increase by 42%. As for Tuan, the challenge is real. The population uh, increase in Africa is both exciting and challenging um, and, and because my role is on trade and investment I see that uh, there's a real, real opportunity here to turn this into uh, the biggest positive uh, for the continent. Um, but it's all about job creation. In Gathered at the Africa 2018 conference in Sham El Sheikh, Egypt, are heads of government business leaders and policy makers across the continent. Discussions are focused on the way forward for intra-Africa trade and economic growth. Also present are young leaders and innovators who believe entrepreneurship is the solution. More than 45% of the African population is young, so Africa can bring change to the continent. Young people must undertake innovative, collaborative entrepreneurship. I think we have policy in Africa. But then, how much of this policy do we have enforced, you know, and working? And that's just the basic thing. When we get the policy right, we are going to get everything right. Here at the Youth Entrepreneurs Day, Africa 2018 conference, if there's anything that young people, uh, I mean young leaders, agree on here is that African governments need to realize the economic potential of young innovators and entrepreneurs. If they are indeed uh, serious about combating the high rates of unemployment and the massive uh, migration of young people to other places outside of the continent. Jerry Bambi from Sharm el-Sheikh, Egypt.